day's not a bad thing. But every day that you wake up, man, there's another opportunity. Every day you wake up, there's another chance to get it right again. Every day you wake up, you throw the bad stuff away and you're able to go and get it. And what's been able to allow me to make it is understand that my sacrifice and what I've been called to do is not about me. It's about the people that I've been called to reach. You can be the number one star football player, all of that. But after you don't won all the games, who did you impact? You understand what I'm saying? So look at life and say, you know what? How can I be selfless? How can I make sure that what I am doing, all of my wins, how can I compare that or shift that to helping other people? You gotta learn to do that, man. As you learn to do that, you're gonna see your life shift and see your life change. It's something different, and that's why I keep looking around the room. It's something different that I, that I just kind of sense in here. That it's a different, y'all know a different caliber of people. I want you to know that. You're a different caliber. And when you know that you're a different caliber of people, that means that you don't settle for less than. You always go above and beyond. We don't settle for a base normal, normal model. If everybody could be successful, I promise you they would do it. If everybody was going to make sacrifices, I promise you they would do it. But you are here because you've been, you, you've been created in your mind to say, you know what, I am going to operate on a level that most people and normal people don't operate in. And when I operate in that level, there are certain sacrifices, certain things that I gotta do to make sure that I stay in that level. Hear this, never get comfortable on a level. I always try to be shifted and say, after I've completed this, how can I go to the next level to be everything that I've been called to be? So what am I saying as a wrap up here? Is that number one, you're called by God. Number two, you're here for a purpose. Number three, believe in yourself. Believe in you. I'm telling you, man, I've been talking all week. If 1% of somebody, I don't care if it's a 0.99, if 0.91% of somebody in your life is talking negative, is talking like less than, is bringing negative energy in your life, I don't need that. Because your negative energy, it may be something about your negative energy that may not be, that may not allow me to reach my place, may not allow me to reach my purpose. So I made a decision in my life, if I have to be on an island with a dog and some money and a drink by myself, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't want no negativity to be in my life. And don't shift negativity on people. If somebody mess up, encourage them. Because guess what? You know how many of us have messed up before, be honest. Everybody in here. So nobody has room to do judgment on nobody because all of us got flaws. But your flaws push you to focus and your flaws and focus push you to the future. You understand what I'm saying? Let me speak a blessing on you. Father, I thank you for everybody that's here. Lord God, I ask, Lord, that as you allow me to speak today, Lord, let something that we have said encourage these guys and these women to be everything that they've been called to be. Father, I thank you specifically for this team, for this coaching staff, I thank you, Lord, for the people that are involved to make this happen. I ask God that as there are generations in this room, Lord, that you allow them to walk in favor. You allow them to walk in victory. You allow them to walk in a place, God, of letting them know that they are one called by you. Number two, God, letting them know, God, that of the confidence in which you created in them. Father, your word says that he who has begun a good work shall perform it until the day that you come. And so, Father, I ask and I thank you that you shall keep them safe. You shall keep them in your perfect peace. Father, I ask God that let them continue to identify the strength and the wisdom and the grit in which you call them to be. Father, we should not negate any moment that you allow us to go into, but we should allow it to be everything that you called us to be. In Jesus' name, we agree and we expect. Everybody say amen. 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 Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.